Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I made a video, particularly a video around modesty and the last video I made gave you more options regarding like gym clothes, sweatpants, things like that. And while I do think that the clothes suggestions I gave you guys in that video were helpful, I also think as summer is upon us, things are getting hotter and warmer. And even though sweatpants might be really comfy to wear, they can feel really sticky and gross after a workout. And so you might be able to find some sweatpants that are lighter. I have a couple pairs that aren't as sticky on me when I go to the gym but there are other options too. And like I mentioned in the first video, everyone's definition of modesty is going to be a little bit different. So at the end of the day, it just comes down to what is the Lord leading you to do? What is he convicting you of? Like, are there things that are making you feel uncomfortable? Maybe avoid wearing those things. All things I already touched on in the first video. This video is gonna be more of like a lookbook. These are all outfits that I have been loving lately, felt super comfortable in, felt very confident in. So we're just gonna jump right on into it. All right guys, so this first outfit here is one that I just created recently. Um, the pants I got from a thrift store and the top I got from Crazy Yoga. I absolutely love this top because it is so soft and I feel like for us women that have shorter torsos or us women that we do kind of like a shorter top, maybe a crop top without showing our whole entire midriff, this is a really great option because it's still allows you to have that shorter length of a shirt but also feel more covered as well and it is loose fitting so that's nice if you feel convicted about wearing tighter shirts to the gym this might be a great option for you regarding the shorts i think these shorts are perfect for if you're going to go running if you're going to do more of an ab circuit or an upper body day i probably wouldn't wear these shorts for a lower body day because they have that wind material on them and i always feel like you know when you're wearing the looser shorts on a leg day it's just so easy for them to like flip up and for people to see like your underwear or if you go commando even worse um would prefer not for that to happen so i don't wear these on leg day but i think again for cardio or upper body this outfit would be amazing all of these pieces at least the ones that you can still buy at the store will be linked below keep in mind that i did get some of these from thrift shops and right now at this stage of my life i am veering more towards buying clothes that are already used or buying clothes from stores that i know is not promoting fast fashion or you know children working in sweatshops and i'm not saying that all fast fashion brands or all cheap clothing was made in a sweatshop but i'd rather be on the more careful side and that's something that i'm just now starting to do so a lot of these pieces are pieces that i've already had before i've kind of had that conviction so keep that in mind i will link it below but just you know do your research look at the company now the next outfit suggestion that i have is one with more form fitting shorts and i have it paired with a looser fitting top the top doesn't cover my bum and for me i don't feel like i always have to cover my bum it just depends on the pants that i'm wearing and like i said recently i've really been going back and forth on especially regarding leggings i still feel like I guess sort of torn because I just feel so much more comfortable in them and I do feel like I can get a little bit more movement and depth on some things but I also know that like at the end of the day if I can help somebody else then it's okay if I like feel a little hotter during my workout or maybe feel a little bit more like whoosh restricted for lack of a better term I just go back to that Bible verse that it's like if your eye causes you to stumble or like if you cause somebody else to stumble, then, what's that verse, babe? Um, it's better that you tie a millstone on your neck and you jump into the sea, then let one of these little ones fall. Right, so and like, no to God's yeah, that's my husband in the back. That's where I'm at right now, guys. And I just wanna let you in, because I think so many of us are in the same place where, man, I, I really wrestle with it because when I go to the gym, I don't feel like I'm going with the intention at this point of, ooh, I hope somebody looks at me today, you know? But I just feel more comfortable in it, and I, I think that's why I'm making this video, because I feel like 
it's almost accountability for me as well as the weather gets hotter and hotter outside. I find myself wanting to wear like less and less clothing. But all that to say, I'm trying to play around with what I have to find other options for myself too, guys. Like I'm not here preaching to you saying, do this, this, and this. Like I'm talking to myself as well because even just like the other day, we were at a church pool party thing and I wore like a pretty cropped top. Like you could see quite a bit of my tummy. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, it's a pool party, you know? People are probably gonna be wearing bathing suits. And then we got there and it was like, I was the only girl that was like showing my stomach. And I know that shouldn't be a reason that I feel like I need to dress more modestly, but it was almost like a check in my mind of, okay, it's the same temperature outside for everybody. And these, these girls that I go to church with, like they're still wearing a t-shirt over and you know, not complaining about it. So I just thought to myself, even though the weather is so hot outside, that's no excuse. And I felt like convicted after it because while my intent wasn't to go to the church pool party and show off my, my body or whatever, I just felt like I was drawing unnecessary attention to myself without meaning to. That's when I was like, okay, we, we, need, a, we need to do a recheck. Because every once in a while, the Lord renews your mind and you're like abiding in his truth and just being obedient to what he's told you in the past. And then you kind of start to like, eh, it's a little hot, like it's okay, it's fine. And slowly and slowly and slowly tiptoe further and further away from that initial voice of the Lord and what he told you to do. And so even though I'm in this place of still trying to figure out exactly where I stand specifically on leggings, I still know that God has spoken to me in the past. And I know that modesty and dressing in a way that brings him glory is still important. And it's not something that I should just put on the back burner. Kind of like prayer in one of the last videos that I made about making prayer more of a priority too. And I think like the more I spend time in prayer, the more the Lord is showing me things in my life that I'm like, oh yeah, that needs to go. It is painful, it is not fun. So I just want you guys to know I am here with you. That was a little bit of a rant, but just welcoming you all into the process and not the finished product because that's where we're all at pretty much. So with all this talk about leggings, that leads me into my next outfit, which is a looser fitting legging that I found on Amazon a while back. Our church was actually giving these away at something. And a friend of mine was like, oh, like you should look at these leggings. They're super cheap and they're not skin tight. So I got a pair of them and I now have them in like three different patterns. But again, for me, that's, it's a struggle. Like the struggle is real. I, I have been wearing leggings to the gym. I have not been wearing loose fitting every single day I go to the gym. With that being said, you could really pair these leggings with any type of workout shirt that you wanted, that you feel comfortable in. For me, a lot of times I'll pair this with a shirt that is more form-fitting, but obviously you can dress to where you feel like the Lord is leading you to. So if you wanna put on a looser fitting shirt like this that I've shown you and buy it in a color to match, then you could totally do that as well. And the fourth outfit suggestion is one that has, again, more form-fitting shorts with it, but an oversized t-shirt. So this one does cover my rear end and a shirt like this does provide you with a little bit more coverage. And then lastly, this is just a cute casual idea for summer. So recently what I have been doing is I have been taking my husband's baggy t-shirts and I have been tying the bottoms of them to make them look shorter and look like a crop shirt. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to do this and are doing this but I just wanna throw this out there as well. If you're gonna wear jean shorts, like the ones I have here, love these, they're from American Eagle. I've had them for a long time, and I like that when I go to American Eagle, I can always buy the same size of something without having to try it on. Like, it is very uniform, at least for me, so I know when I go in there, I can buy a size 
four, that's what I'm gonna wear. These ones I actually got in a size six to fit me a little bit bigger. So I do have to wear them with a belt, but I kind of like that oversized look. They're super airy, they're super light. So I highly recommend if you don't have an American Eagle or don't wanna buy from them, you can always look for them at a Goodwill or look for them at a thrift store as well. Because I feel like when I go to the thrift store, I always see some sort of like American Eagle jean. And even if you find some that are full length jeans, you can always cut them and make them into shorts. And that's really trendy right now to have that kind of like faded, deteriorate, de deteriorated, is that what you call it? Distressed, distressed is the word. The distressed look at the bottom of the jeans. So you could do that too. Again, all these are just suggestions and I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. This is a community where I wanna support you guys. I wanna hear from y'all. I want us to sharpen each other and it not just be like, listen to my wisdom. Like I know that I have wisdom to glean from you guys as well. With that being said, I would appreciate that if you do have more of a sharpening comment or more of a critical comment, just remember to like say it in love and to, um, what's the word? Like be as kind as possible because sometimes we do need to hear those things, those like straight truth, little like pinpoints that people have. But I would really appreciate if we could keep the comments like that below and really edify each other through encouragement and calling each other to a higher standard without like being too judgy. And that brings me to the end of this video. So please like if you enjoyed this, comment below. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see y'all in the next video.